welcome to my game room and the very first Tinker Time, the show where I tinker with gaming equipment and other stuff and try to either fix it or look at it or just whatever the case may be. And this time, we've got a problem with my very well used Xbox One Elite Controller. I have a loose thumbstick. Let's take a closer look. All right, so let's take a closer look at my Xbox One Elite controller and the problem that I'm having. There's a few issues that I have with the controller overall, which we'll touch on. But the problem we're going to fix, or at least try to fix in this tinkering video, is I've got the loose thumbstick. So we'll look at it this way first. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of play there before the stick moves so that is all loosey-goosey and that is not what you want in your thumbstick there's a lot of extra play and if you look at the right there's a little bit of looseness let's compare the two see the difference there when i just kind of wiggle them around that is before the joystick itself is actually catching and moving i really 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 wished that, that would not be a problem with this controller unfortunately obviously it is so i think i know what's causing it and i think i know how to fix it I've done this trick with Xbox One controllers and other controllers over the years, but I could be completely wrong, and if I am, we'll see all live, because I'm just going to do it live. So, remove the thumbsticks here. Uh, goodbye, D-pad. So, those come off, which I do think is cool. You got the circle D-pad and the other thumbsticks. I do like the circle D-pad. It's pretty nice. Um, the D-pad's not perfect, though. I feel like after it gets a lot of use, it just becomes a little wonkus. Uh, this D-pad, I think it's a little wonky. It, it, sometimes it doesn't press the way I expect it to. And I may look into that at a separate time. But I'm not too worried about it because it's not like I'm... Uh, it's not that it doesn't work. It works. It's just sometimes I feel, depending on scenario, it's not perfect. But whatever. Again, not a big deal. Now, uh, paddles. I like them. If you're looking into an Elite Controller and you're like, I wonder if I like the paddles. It took me a while to get used to them. It weren't something that fell in natural. But yeah. Uh, as you can see... You know, the Elite Controller comes with this rubbery grip stuff, and it's supposed to be on the sides here and wrap around to this little edge here. It's all gone. Uh, I think the warmth in my hands and the fact that I sweat and I play a lot of games, uh, it just ruined it. It started, like, buckling out, and even this one's loose. Um, not enough glue. I don't like it anyway. It's comfortable, but I don't think it's needed. Lighten up the controller, maybe. Maybe the casing could just be a little bit lighter. And I think that would work. Anyway, uh, not bad. Let's take out the battery pack. Duracell, not a sponsor. <laughs> All right. So I've never taken apart an Elite controller before. And uh, it's going to be a first time for me. But the Xbox One controllers are generally the same. So it should be... Grab under. There you go. So you just push down on your trigger. And you can grab this little panel again. It's missing the other rubber that it should have there. Goodbye. Out of my way. And then same here. So you just push down. Get your fingers underneath there. Now you can use a flathead screwdriver or something. Oh, I've used a, a butter knife that's not sharp. As long as you can kind of get in that lip. Fingers work okay, but sometimes they're really tight. I'm just going to use your hand there and just pry it off. The screws are down in there. So... Move that out the way. And let's get my screw kit. Yeah! I have an iFixit kit. Now, I haven't done a review on the channel, but real quick, if you happen to be watching this video, you're a gamer. You play at a tinker. You're like me. You don't mind taking apart your controllers, your consoles, messing with whatever. This has even fixed a vacuum for me. Not a sponsor. Love this kit. It's got everything you could possibly need to fix anything. Love it. All right, so we open it up, and you got a whole bunch of tools here. But what we care about is our actual main toolbox. Cool. Underneath it is a pad for your screws. And of course you got your main tools. So let's whip out the screwdriver. And then let's find the right screwdriver. So that's T2. It should work. Move this over. Awesome. I'll put it up there. Controller. All right, let's start digging into this thing. There should be, a, yeah, you feel it already. There should be a screw right there in the middle. Whee! Fun! Break the seal. Awesome. 
So yeah, I've uh, I've been tinkering with stuff my whole life. I love taking apart things. Uh, I've never been afraid. My parents hated it. I've always been one of those kind of, you know, dudes. I know lots of people that tinker with things. And uh, I think it's fun. It's interesting to take apart your own stuff. And uh, ha, it stood up. That's fun. Um, I've always found it very interesting to see how electronics work and just how everything's put together and what, you know, build quality is. And, you know, I've definitely, especially in my younger years, come on, you know, take it apart something and be like, oopsie, I didn't put it back together right. It's missing five screws. Oh, well, but it still works or, you know, all that kind of stuff. You got the you got those cases where you like, hey, I've got 10 screws left. I don't know where they go, but everything's still working. So, hey, whatever. Um, and I've definitely broken a few things, but that's part of the adventure, right? You know, you can't be afraid to dig in and see what everything's all about. So there's two screws and screw in the middle and then two screws, as you can see here. I've always enjoyed doing this. We're going to be doing a lot more tinkering videos here on the channel. I've already, unfortunately, done some stuff off camera tinkering, but this has been something that I've been wanting to do for forever on the channel. So why not do it, right? Nah, get in there. Ugh. There we go. Cool. So that should be all the screws, which should lift that off, which is all we need for this project. Um, you know, honestly, with the way the face plates come off, I really feel like, uh, man, they should just make it like a, a snap on face plate. It'd be really cool to, to just, you know, they got all those different, you know, controllers as it is. I don't know. It'd be really cool if you could just buy plates and stuff and, you know, snapped them on and off, and they, you know, had good snaps where they won't break. Anyway, move that out the way. All right, so let's take another look. And you know what? Let's grab another stick. Let's put it on there. And you can see it's a little dirty, I honestly, but a lot of looseness. So pull that off, and as you can see, there's a magnet underneath. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what I expected happen happen. Let's see if I can get my very bad camera to zoom in on this. So you got this plastic stick here. And that's your main joystick. That's, you know, and that's not gonna be loose at all. As you can see, it's really hard to tell. There's no play in that. You see, kind of nudging it there. It's really nice and tight. What happens and what I expected not to happen with the Elite Controller I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a southern term here. Let's go south because I'm from Texas. Uh, it gets wallered out. <laughs> okay, and what that means is, uh, and it's really hard on my camera, especially with the extra shininess. But the hole right there is bigger than it needs to be. It's gotten loose. So when I put it back on there, there's all this extra play. Now, normally what I do with my this issue, this happens with all my controllers eventually. I'll take it apart, and of course, these are normally, you know, plastic. And what I like to do, set my joystick to the side. Now, depending on how uh, wallered out <laughs> or loose you want to call this, all right, that hole becomes, you can have some different options. And uh, it really depends on how you want to go about it. I think for this one, uh, I'm going to go tape method. Now, there's quite a few different methods you can go here. All you really need to do is fill in that extra room that just happened. And uh, hot glue can work pretty well. Uh, I unfortunately, I don't have a hot glue gun anymore. When I moved, I lost it. And I don't know what happened. I actually really do like hot glue. Um, you get a little bit of hot glue in there and you stick it in there and make sure it's nice and tight. Uh, make sure it's high quality hot glue though so it's actually pretty stiff when you're done with it so you don't have um it doesn't get loose again anytime soon but scotch tape scotch tape should work pretty well so get you an itty bitty piece of scotch tape hooray scotch tape not a sponsor <laughs> and uh lay it out Get you a knife. Make sure it's already equipped for your video. <laughs> All right, get your knife out and cut a little strip. Now, you can take a look at about how big, well, there's a hair there for some reason. All right, then. Um, kids, uh, blame my daughter. <laughs> As you can see, it's, you know, it's not a very big peg. 
I wish I had a better camera to show this off better, maybe one day, but it's not a very big peg, and you kind of want to match it, so just a little strip tends to work. And I do it this way, just kind of start it, and then it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going inside your controller just to fill up that hole a little bit. This knife needs to be sharpened. Hooray for unsharp knife. So as you can see, that's not even perfect at all, but that should honestly work. There's a few different ways I've done this over the years. And honestly, I can't say there's a best way, right? Uh, the tape method works and there's a few different ways to put the tape on. And again, no best way to that. Uh, the other thing other than hot glue is, you know, like that little ticky tacky blue stuff that you can like stick on your posters or whatever. So you don't have to put thumbtacks in your wall. That tends to work all right. But what I like to do is you just kind of, that's honestly a little bit too big. So I'm going to take this and we're going to cut it down a little bit more. There we go. So it's a nice little strip there and that's a decent start. And we're going to, we're going to wrap it around the top and the sides. It's more the sides. All right. So the sides are what uh, is causing the looseness. But you, as you can see, I kind of gave it like a little, uh, a shirt that's hung over and it's really hard to see because of scotch tape and it's on gray Let's give it some background maybe all right so if you see that it's hanging over the top just a little bit and you fold that over and you just kind of have to fold it over and around make it hug and it doesn't have to be perfect something like that so just give it a little uh, you know a little cap as it were with a little bit of hangover and that should work and just go ahead take your thumb stick jam it back in there and as you can see back to normal no more looseness and honestly that tape will hold for quite a long time like that uh electrical tape will work if it's a really big hole if you're using an xbox you know one controller and this happens but that's it. Um, so yeah, you just put the controller back together. So you top back on top. Go ahead and I don't know. Go ahead and throw your stuff back on there. I'm making a controller early because it'll still sit there. And as you can see, and you know this one's again, it's a little loose, but I'm not worried about that. That that's still that's you know that's comfortable looseness. If it gets a little bit worse than that. They'll do the same thing to this. Uh, but I won't make a video on it because there's no need, but as you can see, that's nice and tight again. Everything's working, everything's smooth, no problemo. So just a little bit of tape, and we're going to stick everything back together. Real quick like, put your screws back where they belong. You know, um, <laughs> I've been so lazy with times that, you know, uh, one of my older controllers, when I was super broke, kept, uh, the, the plastic was just gone. It was a regular Xbox One controller, and, and I had done this trick, and I think these metal ones will last a lot longer with this trick, but, you know, you do this trick with, like, a regular plastic Xbox One controller and thumbstick, and, uh, you know, it lasts a few months, and then sometimes you play as hard as I do, it'll kind of happen again. You got to refresh your tape, and the hole gets a little bit bigger. I got to a point where the, there was pretty much... Uh, it was pretty much a circle, uh, and the thumbstick was pretty well gone. That was a pain because, uh, I tried everything. What ended up working there was probably not the best choice in the whole world. I just decided to super glue the absolute crap out of it. I stuck, uh, some of that really nice thicker super glue, not regular, like, uh, fingernail super glue or anything. Uh, from, oh, that's the wrong spot. Pay better attention. I'm not even looking at it. I'm just trying to go for it. <laughs> um, the thicker, you know, the, the thick super glue, uh, even the, uh, oh, that, what is it? JB weld stuff will do. Okay. Remember it's plastic. So you get the plastic JB weld, but again, if that ever gets loose, it gets kind of messy to, to remove and repair that one. I, you know, at that, that, particular controller just ended up dying overall one day i went to turn it on it wouldn't so i don't know i played pretty hard it happens 
I like this Elite Controller a lot. I am disappointed that the thumbstick went loose like that. I was not expecting that problem with the metal. Because as you can see, it, it is definitely metal. But it got loosened up in there. And so the thumbstick got all loose. But just a little itty bitty, itty bitty strip. As you can see, kind of there. We went from that big strip there down to a half this strip. Which was, you know, not very big. So just a little itty bitty bit of tape will work. I've also got electrical tape if the hole had been any bigger because electrical tape's a little bit thicker. But with electrical tape, you do not need much at all. Um, otherwise, it'll make your thumbstick stick. So it's kind of an art, but it's not too bad. So controller screwed back together. Watch what you're doing, guy. Pop your sides back on. Where's the other side? It's on. Oh, all right, sweet. Slides are on. Batteries back in. Get on there. Back panel, which, where did the back panel go? I don't know where my battery panel is. Duda, duda. No, I really don't. It, where'd I throw it to? You know what? We're not gonna worry about it. Everything still works. And again, let's turn it on. No problems there. And the thumbstick is a lot tighter. So now, I'm gonna go play Call of Duty. I'm gonna go drive in on Forza. Whatever I decide to do is gonna be nice and responsive again because the thumbstick isn't getting any extra movement before it moves. And as you can see, this one's still a little loose, but it's not there yet. I may have to repair that one later. So that is it, everybody. That is how you repair a loose thumbstick on an Xbox Elite or an Xbox controller, or really any controller that has a loose thumbstick. 99.99% .99 of the time, the actual peg that your thumbstick is, your actual thumbstick itself inside, the mechanism is normally fine, unless it got some dirt or soda or something in it, which then you can just take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and get it clean. Of course, it's also really nice just to be able to take apart your controller so you know how to clean it, because what if you do spill something on it? So that is it, everybody. That's how you fix a loose joystick. If you like the video, please smack that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more content. Support me on Patreon, where for $1 a month, you'll help my channel grow and be very much appreciated. And you get your name at the end of every video, which is pretty cool, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Tell me if you like it or not. Anyway, I appreciate you very much. And as always, take her easy.